Yo, what's up, guys? It's uh, Netra here. Today, I'm gonna be giving you guys a tutorial on um, how to use the Kuru Lumen plugin. That's this one here. It it's in my Python, but it might be in your plugins. And basically, what this does is it just makes a nice. Uh, let's see. Don't know why I closed down my thing, but anyway. It uh, basically it makes. Let's do say this one makes a nice tentacle effect as you can see here I can stick tentacles or would, where's, do I use them anywhere else uh, here like sick tentacle effect and it looks really nice I use it on a lot of my backgrounds because I think it looks sweet but uh, yeah so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that today um, so firstly you're going to want to open up Cinema 4 if you don't, don't have this plugin it's pretty easy to get, you just look up on YouTube how to get Kurumulu plugin and it's pretty easy. But anyway, so what you want to do is, uh, I'll be using a logo for this, and I know my desktop's really, really messy, but um, you know, anyway, it's not that bad. It's uh, I mean, it's alright, I don't really mind it because I use a lot of it, but like, you know, some people might um, where are they? Uh, give me a second, guys. Let me just find my. Uh, there we go. AIs. Let's use just a. I don't want to use phase. Everyone uses phase logos in their tutorials. It's really standard, but I don't reckon it looks good in this sort of. Thing, so um, let's use the optic logo just just for the hell of it all right so as you guys already know you have to get your extrude nerves just here and this is how you make it 3d so you get the extrude nerve, drag your path onto the extrude nerves like this that's it and then delete that don't need that and then I usually um, let's put this into about I'll just put it around 40 should be good. I'll right, we'll leave it at 40. Oh, my internet just came back on, that's great. But I don't really want to use this, so let's just leave that. Sick internet's back on. Alright, but anyway, uh continue with this. So my internet's freaking stupid, it always cuts off. But anyway, alright. Might be a bit too big actually. Alright, so next thing you want to do guys is put that if you this is if you're making a background right now while you're watching this, just do what I'm doing. These settings, fill a cap, fill a cap, and then what you're going to do want to do now is uh just leave those there. So you what what you want to do now is mine's in my Python's, but yours might be in your plugins like just around here. Mine's in my Python. Most people's in Python plugins. Kuru Lumen. So you'll grab that. Whoop whoop. Ignore what I'm doing, guys. I just stuffed up. Hold up. Just leave yours there. I don't know if you guys already have this open, but sorry guys, I um you should have opened this up with a Lightroom first, because it looks a lot better with Lightroom. Sorry guys, I forgot. I just blanked out. But anyway, yeah, you should always have the, use a Lightroom with your backgrounds because it looks a really nice, gives us a much better render. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now, to close my door, sorry if you can hear my fan in the background, it's really annoying, loud. Anyway, um, so you're going to want to get to your crew maloom, and is that big? Yeah, see, oh crap, alright, so I need to make all this bigger, oops, wrong one, make that a bit bigger there, and yeah, that should be right there, alright, so we get our crew maloom here, bring that, mm. And what you want to do now with your Kurumulu, you want to go to Mesh, oh no, not Spline, sorry, where it says Kill Small, you want to drag that to 100, like all the way up. Now what you're going to want to do is go to Mesh, go up to here, this little thing here, where it's like that little squiggle line with a plus, hold that down, get a circle, click back to Kurumulu, drag the circle onto Profile Spline, like that, and it'll make this massive big... Tentacle. Now click on circle again, and then I usually want to put that around 
to 30 you just mess around with it whatever you reckon looks good but anyway and then now basically it's just up to you you can mess around with the number of segments make it bigger make it smaller all of that crap and then um you can make it a lot smaller like that I'm gonna have to make this pretty small Alright, that should be right now. So we'll zoom in here, get our Kurumalu, and then we're just going to rotate that up so it looks like it's, you know, let's see how it's a bit too big here, so we'll just put that down a little bit. Put the scale of that, oop, too small. Oh, that should be right. Alright, so we'll just drag that up here. How's that looking up? And then basically now what you want to do is just spin it around to the angle which you like. And I usually just spend a little while doing this. And then you'll add your effects on later. That's been a bugger. Put this one here. Back here. Up there. How's that looking? Uh, that's alright, not that bad. Uh, yeah, it's alright. It's not that bad. That looks alright there. Make it, it'll probably make it a bit smaller here, actually. Put that up there. Yeah, that looks pretty good there. And then, as you can see, this little bit here this under underneath bit which is just poking out sometimes it'll poke out the bottom of it you can see it through here if you don't like seeing the edge of it you can always do this you can go to where it says from you can drag that up and make it go to like say put it to around can you see it as much there you can see it there this is a lot of messing around and then if you just doesn't really work out you just sort of curve it up and push it down a little bit more so it's on it like that. I mean, in Photoshop, you won't be able to really see this. You can always um edit it so it just goes a little bit further or whatever. You know, it's up to you really. And then I'll just, I'll just leave that there. All right, that looks right there, guys. So now, what I like to do is I like to get this materials. Where are the material? Material, materials. Uh, sorry, I know my desktop is so dirty, but anyway, uh, this open up this, uh, and I usually like to use the acid. They work pretty well with this, so I'll just choose a few of these and pick them out. See which one goes with it. You can mess around with the colors on all your materials. Make sure you put it on cubic, seamless, all that crap. I think that's gonna go over, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, make that bit bigger. And then just pull it down a bit so it goes there. We go. That's pretty perfect there. And now we don't have any mats on there, do we? Usually, I'd nitro blast the logo and all that, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't really want to. I'm not doing a nitro blast tutorial. Uh, let's go and just grab a nice, a nice. Let's just add a nice mm, let's see what that looks like. Yeah. I think that's a bit too too bright. Let's add a mat, uh, just a modifies maps. Yes, everyone uses these, I know. Maybe if we add a array. Let's just add this one, yeah. And with these like mats, you got to put them always onto cubic or frontal, and then seamless and all that. Let's just render that out quickly. See what it looks like. I'll be back in a second, guys. Let's render it out. All right, guys. So it is done. 
doesn't look that good because you'd usually put Nitro Blast on the logo or stuff like that and yeah as you can see it looks pretty shit but the logo but um I mean it's not that bad and my internet's crashed again gone out um let's just add a quick Adamarine onto these I will be bringing out my nit a Nitro Blast tutorial but you know I'm actually I'm not the best at Nitro Blast like I use it I'm alright but you know I'm just not really extremely good I usually like putting this down to one and if it's too much then I'll put it down again and here's a good Adamarine welcome you Internet is terrible. I think I got a virus, but anyway, what is? <laughs> That's too far out. That one is the O. The G is too far out, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure most people will usually do this. They usually like uh, turn it so it's like you know coming out. Let's see if we can actually do that in this here. Just quickly turn this. I don't know. This is what I just see you know, a lot of optic backgrounds. It's always turned. I'm not very good at this. This is not looking good. No, screw it. We're not doing that. We're going to leave it how it was. Okay. Let's get it. Let's just render that out. Alright, guys, we'll be right back when it's rendered. Alright, guys, I'm back and it's uh, rendered out. Um, and as you can see, that looks pretty sweet with the tentacles coming around it. And obviously you probably maybe add another one coming in here or coming through the middle just here. And all your other effects, Nitro Blast and maybe some tubes or something like that. Uh, and then you put in Photoshop, do the Photoshop magic. But anyway guys, uh, that is the Kumalu tutorial and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it.